beautiful autumn night as you look at downtown Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Temperature 48 degrees. As Bill Coward just said, they have to get off to a fast start. They have to play tough defense. They have to get Jerome Bettis going. And that's always a big part of the Steeler offense. Heinz Field sold out. More than 64,000 looking on here. And Troy Walters is back to receive for the Colts. This kick, another fairly short one taken at the 14-yard line and great coverage at the 22-yard line as Walters gets buried by Lee Mays as we take a look now at the Colts offense. Peyton Manning, Tennessee. Eden Jane, University of Miami. Marvin Harrison, Syracuse. Kadri Ismael, Syracuse. Reggie Wayne, from the University of Miami. Marcus Pollard, the Bradley University. Tari Glenn, Cal Berkeley. Rick Damone, Idaho. Jeff Saturday, North Carolina. Brian Dean, Northern Illinois. Adam Meadows, Georgia. Aaron Smith, Northern Colorado. Casey Hampton, Texas. Kimo Von Olhoffen, Boise State. Jason Gilden, Oklahoma State. James Ferrier, Virginia. Kendrell Bell, Georgia. Joey Porter, Colorado State. Ted Scott, Maryland. Lee Flowers, Georgia Tech. Brent Alexander, Tennessee State. Dwayne Washington, NC State. Lee Flowers coming off a game in which he intercepted two passes last week at Cincinnati. Second down and eight. From the 38, quick flip toward Harrison, but batted away. Brent Alexander got up there to force the incompletion and set up third down today for Indianapolis. Steelers rushing four. Good protection. Manning guns it, and it's incomplete because the coverage is good. And one of the most exciting rookies in the league, Antoine Randall L., to run it back. And it is partially blocked and goes out of bounds up at about the 41-yard line. Joey Porter, who had a huge Sunday night game against Oakland four weeks ago, begins this one tonight with a blocked punt to set Pittsburgh up in Indianapolis territory. Goes into the books as a three-yard punt because it went past the line of scrimmage. Hunter Smith will really love that as Boris... Tommy Maddox, UCLA. Jerome Bettis, Notre Dame. Dan Kreider, New Hampshire. Flex Burris, Michigan State. Heinz Ward, Georgia. Mark Bruner, University of Washington. Wayne Gandy, Auburn. Alan Fanica, LSU. Jeff Harding, Penn State. Kendall Simmons, Auburn. Marvell Smith, Arizona State. From the 27-yard line. Maddox, thrown to the outside, and... His favorite target has been Plexico Burris, who caught eight last week. He's on the mark right here, and that'll move the chains. Missing defensive tackle starter Josh Williams, who had hoped to play tonight. Foot injury, out for another week at least. Second down and ten. Maddox throw, caught by Heinz Ward for a touchdown. Heinz Ward will do some celebrating out. Heinz Ward is right here, and he came in motion from the right side to the left, just gets sets as a ball step, runs a little out and up or swing. I don't like that defensive scheme. No, that. That's one of those zone dogs, and you will get caught in those matchups. This is one, and Tommy Maddox saw it. First round draft pick in 99, and people were shocked because he went ahead of Ricky Williams, the other Ricky Williams in that draft. Bill Polian making the call, and it turned out to be a pretty good one. Second and 17, James, they're going to slip move there, but nowhere to roam as he takes it only to the 46-yard line, a gain of a couple. The league average is 20%, so one out of five converted around the league, but the Colts won a 16 here. And on third and 15, there is another incompletion. He's Reggie lucky Wayne, that, the I was receiver. just going to say, he's lucky that wasn't intercepted because you talk about throwing into a crowd. There were there were five five Steeler or four Steeler defensive backs there. This is one thing, but sometimes on, on third down you tend to do this because you know you're going to have to punt if you don't make this completion. But look at that. There's one, two, three. Like Cordell Stewart, you could call him slash. You could call Randall L. slash. First and ten from the 20-yard line. Maddox guns it. 
over the middle of the Plexico Burris. And these two guys look like they have worked together for about 10 years, much less four weeks. And, and, you know, and sometimes that just happens. I mean, you start and then you start to feed a guy and then the guy works a little harder for you. And I think that's what Plexico Burris is doing now. That You know, you know that he's never been that consistent guy. You know, last year he would drop some here and there because he didn't feel that he was the go-to guy all the time. I think if you're Plexico Burris, he's going to get you the ball. From the 38-yard line. Toss to Bettis, and then on a reverse, it's Heinz Ward. Maddox looking to block, and Heinz Ward takes it up to the 46-yard line. So a razzle-dazzle and an eight-yard game. Third down and six. Now more conventionally in the gun. You've got Maddox. Four-man rush, good protection. Open man, he hits Heinz Ward, and he'll move the change to the... 16-yard line, tackled by Wall Harris, first down Pittsburgh. Ward is the motion man. To the ground, to Bettis. Bulls his way to the 8-yard line behind a Dan Kreider for that 15-yard face mask and automatic first down. Pittsburgh tries to cash in, and Bettis will take it to the 2-and-a-half-yard line, and that's a first and goal coming up. Coming off a groin injury last year and a long rehab during the offseason, looking a lot better as Bettis over the last two weeks. Touchdown, Jerome. Hey, the left side of the line makes a great block, but so does the fullback. Watch him right there, Dan Kreider. He's going to make the lead. Boom, right there. He's the guy that opens and creates that hole for Jerome Bettis. Should have gone back to the original play. Great teams and a great place to play. Trips left on second and nine. Manning hit as he throws to the end zone and whacked away at the last moment. Yeah, the ball was whacked away on that end, but look what happened in this end. Peyton Manning got whacked away. You know, and that really gets a quarterback. You know, you get him twice. You get him when you hit him, and then you get him when he hits the ground. Second and ten. Screen, and they're lucky they get away with that one into a lot of traffic as Bettis somehow comes up with a football. And three from the 45-yard line. And a little shovel to Antoine Randall. Into Indianapolis territory. It loses the ball, but out of bounds. Pittsburgh retains it. First down at the 40-yard line. In Cincinnati from the 40 now. Maddox to Burris. And that's close to a first down. 40 rushing touchdowns, 40 passing touchdowns at Indiana University for their second round pick. Maddox throws his main man, Plexico Burris, and he takes it down to the 15-yard line. And Maddox tonight is 9 out of 12, and 5 of those 9 have gone to Plexico. Didn't start for the Broncos at all in 93. Then with the Rams briefly, the Giants in 95. Out of football for four seasons, the Arena League in 2000. And the XFL, where he was the MVP for the LA Extreme in 2001. And Pittsburgh's back up last year, now the starter. Over the middle, Kreider. And he's close to a first down to the five-yard line. He's used five different receivers. Bettis. And the bus untouched. No traffic. They looked like to me that they have already worn this Indianapolis Colt defense down. He has awakened the echoes. Here's James, runs into his own man, runs up the back of Ryan Dean, and he's taken down. Peyton having his troubles getting untracked here. Seeing Brett Favre taking off in a part of yeah, the I think he's going to be all right. But what about Manning? I'm not sure he's going to be all right after that whack by Alexander. The blocker does here. He makes a little move on the blocker, and he puts that helmet right underneath Peyton Manning's chin. Now for Indianapolis trying to get back into the game, trying to get a score before halftime. Manning out of the shotgun. Blitzing. Everybody coming. He gets it away, and that's incomplete. Intended for Cadre Ismael over the middle will be fourth down. 
that he didn't anticipate well. Balls were behind and so on. He's over. Tommy Maddox, and you can see it tonight, has great anticipation. Fake toss to Randall L. Then he hits Heinz Ward, cutting back across the field into Indy territory, out of bounds at the 39. And that's what they're doing this first half. It's beautiful playing with a lead. <laughs> first and 10. And that is caught by Randall L. Now Manning will try to cash in. Instead, he gets necktied. And the pass is incomplete. Clark Hagens, the linebacker, came in and grabbed him. Manning. And Manning staying in bounds, throwing, picked off at the one, so they won't even get a field goal attempt. Brett Alexander picks it off. So Peyton staying in bounds. James tackled in the backfield. Good play by Kendrell Bell. Second and 11. In traffic. Backpedaling and then picked off. Intercepted by Mike Logan. Into Indy territory. Manning gets blocked out of the play. And he takes it all the way down to the 20-yard line where he's finally tackled by the fullback, Jim Finn. And so when Alexander went out and Logan came in, Logan is the man on the spot. Watch him. He just reads him. He just reads the whole thing, and he sees it. He was he was what they call he played that position they call a robber. Anything that's going to come in the middle, he takes. He takes all those crossing patterns. Maddox to Ward for six. There's Heinz Ward there, and you can just see him make a little out move, and now he has it. Tommy Maddox watched him all the way. He knew exactly what he was going to do with the ball before it was even snapped. <laughs> First and ten from the 49. This is James. Third down and seven from the gun. Here they come through the middle. Logan almost sacked him. And then Manning goes down. So another big play by Mike Logan. Logan, who had the interception on the last series and the near sack. And in effect, he busted up this play. He knows what he doesn't like. Second down and 14. He doesn't like fumbles or muffs. Zero A breaks it. Breaks loose. Out past the 20, the 30, and bumped out of bounds near the 44-yard line. You know, you watch him, and he's going to take a cutback here. It's going to start to the left, and they've been running left all night. So they start, the Colts start to over-pursue. Zeroway takes it like he's going to run to the left and quickly cuts back to the right. Career-long run for Zeroway of 42 yards. And now Maddox slings it over the middle, goes back to Burris, his main man again, and that's a first down to the 38-yard line. Luxico Burris with a half dozen receptions tonight for 79 yards, 38-yard line. <clears throat> Keep it on the ground and give it to Fuamato Ma'afala, who takes it to the 29, to the strains of Fu. Second down and 10 from the 28-yard line. Zero away. Cuts it back. Beautiful move. A lot of depth in the Steeler backfield all the way to the 10-yard line. But that Alan Fanick is a heck of a blocker on that left side. I mean, I mean, he's he's getting such a big push here that he could have run that thing play side. I mean, this guy has been blocking great all night. He's been blocking in front of him, and then he's been getting up the field. Just watch here, and watch the movement that they get there. I mean, that, that can get him through any hole, but, but that brings all the defenders there, so there is a cutback, but, and he kept it play side. You want to throw it to him now when there's no one on him. Manning, and off the hands and into the air and intercepted by Brent Alexander. Up to the 40, looking to lateral, and it may have been a forward pass to Deshae Townsend. There is a flag. There is a flag from the other side of the field where the officials spotted the forward flip. But that's the second interception for Brent Alexander. Noel is in the backfield. And he'll take the snap. He'll run with the ball behind Fumato Ma'afala. Swings to the outside. 
and he takes it up to the 43. And Bill Cowher can spend the whole season with guys like Randall L. and, and Heinz Ward. Yeah. Maddox milking the play clock for Lamato Maafala. For the strains of Fu, and he breaks one, and that's a first down. In pass rating in preseason this year, so a lot of action because Cordell Stewart had had a concussion as Zero picks up a first down. And Monday night debut, he's the youngest quarterback to ever throw a pass in a Monday night game. He did that in 92 as Zero takes the flip and Rob Morris makes the tackle at the 28 yard line. But they were still hitting the same way. So the Pittsburgh Steelers with their newfound quarterback. With the defense living up to expectations, with Bettis performing well, but now he's a question mark with that sprained knee, will move into Baltimore, feeling a lot better about themselves with a record of three and three as they beat the Colts 28 to 10. Back after this.